Hi, I'm Ollie. This is a, uh, a quick review of the uh, the Note 2. Um, just real quickly run over the features with you, just get the screen on here. A um, few things about the phone, it's uh, it's a quad core 1.6 gigahertz processor, so it's uh, it's got a lot of uh, processing power. You also get two gigabytes of RAM, just pop into uh, into the settings. Also, you get Jelly Bean, which is 4.1, so it's the, uh, the latest version of, uh, of Android's operating system. Um, the phone itself is 4.9 millimeters thick, uh, weighs about 180 grams, so quite light considering it's got a 5.5 inch screen on there. Um, you get a 3100 milliamp battery, so it should easily last the day even for the heaviest of users. Now, one of the really exciting things about this is the S Pen. So this is just located here. As you take it out, it actually takes you into the S Pen menu. So what you get, you get that little dot, if you can just see it towards the left of the screen, it actually follows around, so you don't even actually need to touch um, the screen to uh, to do certain things. You've got a button on the uh, on the pen there. So for instance, if, uh, if we want to, say, go into magazine, if you select that, it loads up the application. Now this actually uh, enables you to put various images on, so if we tap and hold this, you can actually pick here, so we can take a picture if we go to images takes you into your gallery so if we pick an image uh, you can even if you hover over without even touching the screen it expands the picture just to give you a clearer view which is a, an excellent feature so if you want to use this picture you can crop it do whatever you like easily move that around so if we just want to use that part click done and it'll put it into here so the idea is you can do complete presentations and so on um, or, you know literally on something that's a bit bigger than a normal phone uh, you can save it as, uh, as you would expect. Another real cool feature that I've come across on this is if you actually put your S Pen down and then wander away with the phone it will actually notify that you've left the S Pen which is a, an awesome feature so if I, uh, if I try and take the S Pen away now I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough distance for it to notify you but trust me that does work I think that's a, an excellent feature there from Samsung so uh, show you a few more things if, uh, if for instance we uh, we get the gallery up i haven't really took any pictures on here so there's not uh, there's not a lot in here um just find that for you and there we go gallery so again if you uh, if you're in here you can easily hover over so if you've got folders with multiple um, pictures in you get like a selection of nine which uh, which shows you so that's quite useful uh, if we go to uh, to play in a video if we play the video just turn this landscape so you can see it better using the s pen what we can actually do if we tap on here you can actually drag that across the video line and it just gives you a thumbnail of exactly what's going on at the time again a really cool feature also as with the s3 we've got this pop-up video so what I can do now is I can actually go back, I can move this video around so it can pop it at the top of the screen and I can go into messaging for instance and uh, probably best at the bottom there, write a new message um, and it should actually start on the screen, that's weird, there you go, it's just one side in that one but you pretty much 90% of the time most parts support it, you can have this video playing and obviously carry on with whatever you want to do, internet browsing, emailing, anything like that. So that's an absolutely awesome feature. If you tap back on it, it should... There you go, double tap. There you go, that's going on. So if you double tap on it, it takes you back through to the video. So uh, if we just pause that now and uh, come back in, I'll show you a few more things I've come across. Obviously the uh, the camera on this is uh, something that you'll be using quite a bit. Very similar to the uh, to the S3, it's an 8 megapixel camera, uh, you've got access to the gallery there, there's quite a few features at the top, um, you've got various settings so you can do um, different colour variants, solarised green point and so on, you've got HDR on here so it will take three shots and use the uh, the contrast to improve the, uh, the picture, again another awesome feature, if we flick it into video mode, got 1080p video works really well even at low light which provides a, an excellent image so we're very impressed with that as well um, the s pen really is just something that uh, just makes using this an absolute pleasure uh, if we uh, if we kind of flick out of this what you can even do if you've got something on your screen so if we go to the internet and uh, just pinch that down if you hold this button here you can actually just draw around something and uh, it copies it 
So you can copy that, use it on a document, you can save it on the clipboard for later. So obviously that's uh, an awesome, uh, awesome feature. So uh, unfortunately, the uh, the Wi-Fi I'm connected to at the moment isn't the uh, isn't the fastest, um, but uh, so I can't really give you a kind of speed um, idea of how fast the browser actually works. But when you're when you're connected to a, a really good uh, good Wi-Fi network, it is really impressive how uh, how fast even heavy pages load. Uh, if we go on to uh, this here hopefully give you an idea it really does uh, does handle heavy pages well unfortunately this is a mobile site so again it's not a, a good example um, but even some of the uh, the heaviest website full Engadget site just loads it absolutely flawlessly you can pinch and zoom and so on scroll up and down absolutely no problems at all um, show you a few more features there's so much on this phone I could probably talk for uh, for two hours about it so I'm just trying to summarize the things I've had good experience with uh, you get music hub uh, which is uh, which has been improved um, so it looks like you need to sign into the Samsung account there music player so you've got a lot of motions on this phone again something I really haven't looked over very similar to the s3 really but it works quite well I mean you might have your own preference if you're uh, if you're on Android about what you uh, what you want to use um, but uh, Moz, will, uh, Moz will go through that um, quite a few features uh, with the with the notes you've got the S note function which I showed you before it's quite easy here we're in the idea sketch but you can quite easy uh, just pick any one you want to uh, to kind of do a presentation in there so it's pretty much all I'm going to show you at the moment there is just so much on this phone it's uh, kind of taking it all in and uh, and showing you everything is uh, is just near impossible in a, in a short video but as I uh, as I use the phone more and more and get more experience with it I'll uh, I'll do some videos and updates as well. Um, so if we just slide the uh, the S Pen back in, it just fits in there nicely. Takes you out the S Pen menu and you're back to the uh, to the normal one, so you can use it with uh, with your finger. Um, so I'll be back uh, with updates of, uh, of what I find in the operating system and hints and tips. Also doing plenty of case reviews as I uh, as I receive them over the next week or so. Uh, if this video has helped you, if you can like it on YouTube, if you've got any questions, if you just ask below, and. Uh, and thank you very much for watching.